Hello, we're here to talk about Aegis bearing protection rings for installation on NEMA frame motors that are operated on variable frequency drives. Now without the rings, these motors can end up with fluting damage in the bearings, which causes premature motor failure, sometimes in as little as three months. The different products that we use, we have rings designed for small motors, these U-kits, all the way to the largest NEMA frame motors. They come with various bracket configurations, various heights, and even split versions for every motor frame size. These split versions are used to install on motors that are already coupled to pumps or air handlers. To find which kit to use, you'd reference our bearing protection handbook. You can see on the page here the part number cross-referenced directly to the NEMA frame, so you can easily select which ring you want, both solid and split versions. Now here's the kit, and we're going to first take the ring out of the box, and also in each kit you get this set of brackets, all the different size brackets, a sticker, all the screws that are required, and even the Allen wrenches that you need to install the ring. Okay, so we've already selected the ring and the brackets that we're going to use for this motor. Now you can see on the end of a motor all these different protrusions that might require the ring to be pushed out a little bit so it touches the shaft without interfering in the end bracket of the motor. There's two ways to install this. We've drilled and tapped the holes in the motor, and the other way is you could just simply use conductive epoxy by removing the paint from the motor, mixing the conductive epoxy together, applying it on the back of the brackets, and then sliding the ring and just simply gluing it on right to the motor after you've removed the paint from that motor's end bracket. Before we actually install the ring, we're going to prepare the shaft by applying a coating of colloidal silver, which will prevent corrosion on the shaft of the motor right where the fibers touch. It dries very quickly, and as soon as it's dry, we can install the Aegis ring. So we're going to slide the ring over the motor to match the holes that have already been drilled and tapped into this motor end bracket. I'm going to use the Allen wrench that comes with the kit, and I'm going to select the screws, and I'm going to tighten the ring onto the motor. So now with the Aegis bearing protection ring installed, the motor is protected for its normal service life.